Nation and all of our medics keeping us safe during this weekend. Next up, Vanuatu up against Kiribas. Oceania, Sevens action. Plenty of the right colours on show, these two teams. Good colour matchup, good jersey matchup as well, and it's going to be exciting from end to end as well. Good news and Henry Hutchinson on the call. And Vanuatu, they're an exciting team to watch. Yeah, Vanuatu got their win, their first win yesterday over Nauru. Um, and I think Nauru is. In and Kiribati is still searching for their first win. Hope they can get that today. So there's a restart. It's an awkward bounce and it just bobble into touch. So Kiribati didn't lay a hand on it. So they'll get the line out. Here's the mic. Step up. So Kiribati just struggled yesterday a bit. In in retaining their own ball and building a bit of momentum in their phases as they get the tap down and Simeon he takes it forward the captain now this is better getting it wide to Eviata now a bit of pace as well and trying to get on the outside and this is beautiful work from Kiribati they just run out of room on the edge it was James there on the wing but promising from Kiribati yeah, good early signs from Kiribati there. They they use the width of the field. They got good game line. They're just the wingers have to be careful to always come in field, always take that contact and look just to retain ball retention. Start the ruck, go again. You don't need to score off first phase all the time. Here's Burry Korea. The man summing up the opportunity there. For Kiribati. So Vanuatu with their first chance and it's stolen at line out time. And a knock on. Knock on your side. There's a mark. There's a mark. From Kiribati, but they get the penalty for the offside. So Vanuatu with their first chance and straightening up the middle to Vivi. He's biding some time and gets it out to a wide to his electric winger, David, in full flight. And palms off one, two, and he's butchered it over the line, has he? He's put a foot on the in goal. He got a bit cute with it, and no try. Oh, that's a coach kill there from David. I understand his method. He's trying to get the ball around under the underneath the post to make it an easier kick for his goalkeeper, but just flirting with danger there. It doesn't need to be happening. One hand ball carry. Oh, and that's just, it's also great defense from Kiribati. Never die attitude. we have saved seven points. Alito, David, you hate to see his coach at half time, I'm sure. So we have the 22, and that one's launched into the Ballymore stands. So we'll come all the way back from Barry. Massive. 22 dropout, just put a little bit too much on it, and Vanuatu have another fantastic attacking position here. You can get a midfield scrum, 22 metres out. Let's go, really expose Kiribati's defensive here system me. here. So options left and right for Vanuatu. You see Harrison Nally just moving across to that right-hand side. Coach. And leaving Fine. Johnson Ronneth out here on his own. He was a revelation Sit. in last year's Oceania oh. Sevens tournament. And that's where they go. Peckin going to the line. Goose on the outside. Two on one opportunity, and he won't need them. And Benjamin Peckin does it all on his own. Masterclass work there from the scrum for Vanuatu's first. Well worked with there from Benoitu. Very hard position to defend on the field. But we see that can just slide left and swing around and get on the outside of his defender. With little goosey, little dummy. And Peckin is over for the first try of the day. Great play from Benoitu. Lito David, line up. 
the attempt. Looks to fade it around. It's not a bad strike, but it will stay right. Benoit lead five points to nil, four and a half gone in this first half. And that's just good eyes up footy there from Pickett. Yeah, it's really good. He knows the defence is going to be on their back foot. They're going to be reacting late to what he does as he's hiding behind that scrum. And he just used his, spat, his pace to get on the outside of the defence. He did it with pass. And that's a finish, dude. Do waste any time about that one. Just dive straight over, put it down. No showboating or business. Vanuatu are here to do a job as David sends a money ball out wide. One on one opportunity to Vivi. Sends it back inside to David. Now Sham looks it to flick it out. The knock on comes. So Kiribati survived that onslaught. You can see Vanuatu just looking to free their hands in almost every single contact zone to keep that ball moving, to get the play moving. Sometimes the pass is not. Sometimes it's best just to go to ground, set all day in commentary, set that offside line, get some structure, and then attack the defensive line. And what you're saying, a lot of that is the difference between, you guys see tier one nations in the sort of tier two, it's those fundamentals, core skills. Set all day in commentary, set that offside line, get some structure, and then attack the defensive line. And what you're saying, a lot of that is the difference between, you guys see tier one nations in the sort of tier two, it's those fundamentals, core skills, and sevens. Yeah, and it's best just to go to ground, set all day in commentary, set that offside line, get some structure, and then attack the defensive line. And what you're saying, a lot of that is the difference between, you guys see tier one nations in the sort of tier two, it's those fundamentals, core skills, and sevens. Positive, so we'll see what they do here. And Kiribati steal it at scrum time, and then the knock on does come. That one's gone backwards, says the referee. So let's play on the call. The half time siren sounds and going forward, and a good carry as well there from Barry. And here goes Kiribati looking to strike before half time. Offloads are plenty, and Barry has his hands on. He's got four on two out wide, they can shift it. They go out to Mary Sino. Now cutting back in, David making the tackle and it had to be made. They get a penalty. Just going on with it. Here's the big number one. So Kiribati with a chance to level the scores right on half time. Mary Sino, dummies. Gets a pass away. This is good play from Kiribati. Gets the pass. Eviata, one on one. What will he do with ball in hand? He's a big man. Basketball pass on the inside. Inside the five. Back outside. And Kiribati. Putting on a show, and they get it down in the corner. What a response. And it's Aviata in the corner. Aviata, how about the LeBron James basketball pass over the top? That is some serious skill and some serious football leading up to that drive. I know I just talked about recycling the ball and going to ground, but when you're that good at keeping the ball alive. Take a look at this, Henry. Talk me through it. Off. They're just finding the space here. Kiribati, they know that they've dragged the Venuata defence. There's going to be holes back in the middle, keeping that ball alive. Inside, outside, and Kiribati have locked the scores up. The conversion was no good. So half time, and it's Venuatu. Five. Kiribati, five. If you are on the stands and you have your car keys in your pocket and it's a Toyota one, please listen up. We've got a special announcement. We have two cars blocking somebody's driveway. And if someone was in my driveway, hmm. Okay. Easy to pick off. And now they're playing with width. They're playing a, a, a lot of expansive rugby here. Off. And it's causing headaches for Venuatu. So Kiribati with the restart. And it's been a physical encounter as well. Aiming up in defence. We see it here. Picked off, but dropped. It was right there for Kiribati. And now Venuatu looks to make them pay. Bringing it back is through a colour. One on one, inside ball. Calcell gets it away now. Nally taking down ball and all inside the 22. Numbers are plenty. Pican out to David. Slings it wide. 
And to we will bring it around a bit closer, and that is seven rugby at its very best. Defense to attack. Here of us. We're odds on to score down the other end, but Vanuatu take it 80 meters to regain the lead. Oh, and you feel sorry for Kiribati. They were so close, but you can just see the team kind of stopped when they when they thought they knocked the ball on. And Vanuatu were smart enough to pick that ball up and just go. Played to the whistle, made the line break down the right hand side, and pulled width in their attacking line. And he had this. He was gone. And look at the frustration. They paused. Quick thinking. And then Hands did the job. Lining up. Then on the outside, and it was Seal. So we are getting the try for Vanuatu, regaining the lead. And 12 points to five in this second half. You see the current standings. Vanuatu got their first win of their campaign. It is an important matchup to get their second of the tournament. So they go the short kickoff, and it can't be scooped up. The Kiribati maintain it. It's a good ball. Getting wide. A bit of footwork and trucking it up. As James sends it back into the arms of Pekin and he will bring it all the way to the try line for his second try. And Venuatu get two on the trot. Pekin, that is right place, right time. You can see him follow the ball as a defensive player. He's got that intuitive feeling, his intuitive footballer know that the Kiribati have been offloading all day, they haven't been taking the ball to ground, so he's, he's hedged his bets, thought they're going to look to keep the ball moving, and he's in that area to take that intercept and, and get five points for his team. Benjamin Beckett, that's his second of the day, and he's been an important player for the Vanuatu side. A regular fixture in their sevens team. Time. You can see him follow the ball as a defensive player. He's got that intuitive feeling, his intuitive footballer know that the Kiribati have been offloading all day. They haven't been taking the ball to ground, so he's he's hedged his bets. Thought they're going to look to keep the ball moving, and he's in that area to take that intercept and, and get five points for his team. Benjamin. Beckett, that's his second of the day, and he's been an important player for the Vanuatu side. In a regular that intercept and, and get five points for his team. Benjamin Beckett, that's his second of the day, and he's been an important player for the Vanuatu side in a regular fixture in this. Skinned like that, when you got the pace of Salom, it ends up in a try. Superb play. So plenty of grit. That, that track style runs well, striding away. 17-10 remains the score, 11 minutes gone. And what's going to be a blockbuster? Day two, the Oceania 7 Championship. George Barry with the restart. Goes a bit deeper this time down to Kalsa. He goes center field, finds Kurukalo. Nally drops it back underneath for David, who's got some footwork. He's a big man as well. And now releasing the pass to Kalsel. Vanuatu putting on a show here at Ballymore. Beats the first and gets laid out on the second. Big collision. Forward pass. Coming in, and Kiribati forced the error. Is that Barry? He just lined him up. Vanuatu playing some good football here, Black. keeping the ball alive, breaking some tackles. Barry's there, just in a good position at, at sweeper. He's very close to the action there. He's not at fullback. He's kind of like a sweeping nine in a 15s games. So when there is a slight 
line break. He's there, shutting it down. He's not giving Vanaroo two plays and time to dictate to him where they're going to attack. He's shutting it down instantly. Set. Kiki. With the feed and he gets it out. Cleanly bobbles it a couple of times then sends a speculator out the back door to Seatop. Her in turn just gives it to Big Burry and he just trucks it up. And now gets the pass away and Kiribati playing a bit of momentum now. Seatop over halfway he goes. And there's the full arm penalty. Another high shot. Happy to go quickly. Tiki. Out to Burry. And give it to the danger man. He big right foot step straight into the chest of the Vanuatu defense. Needs someone to straighten here, and that's what they do eventually before getting out to Tierro. And he's a big man. He tries to run straight over the top, but can't do so. The yellow card to Liami David for Vanuatu in an earlier infringement. So just seven points the difference. Vanuatu's down a man. This is the moment for Kiribati. Really interesting what they do here. Vanuatu, sorry, Kiribati need to expose the fact that Vanuatu are a man down. So there's no point of them playing tight now. They really want the Vanuatu defence running and working hard to make tackles. Here they go, Kiribati as the clock ticks down. They've got numbers. Push the grubber in behind. The chase is on. Sito's there to pick it up. He toes it ahead. Tries to scoop it up, but can't do so. But the penalty's there for Kiribati. From the side, Kiribati will want to move quickly here. Time is against them. And this is a big moment for Kiribati. And going forward, they send it. But no way through there for Tierro. And now quick hands. Numbers should do the job. He tries to forward. He cuts back in. He had a man outside. Eventually goes to him. Right foot, left foot. Gets over the line. And Kiribati with the try. And this lines up a kick to draw. This is monumental for Kiribati. Oh, they made hard work of it there, but they got there in the end. That extra man advantage just hurt Vanuatu. They could score out wide. It's not an easy kick, but it is kickable as we look here to even up the scores. You have 12 seconds left. Kiribati for the draw. And he brings it around, but it's no good for Kiribati. Well, what a fight to the very end. And Vanuatu, they hold on just. Full-time score, 17 points to 15.